Hello my beautiful friends, I hope you're doing wonderful today. In today's video I will be sharing with you a massive beauty haul. I have bought a stuff from Sephora, also from Ulta and Nordstrom. I mean I have a ton of stuff to share with you. But before we get started and if you're new here, please consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. And now, if you want to see what I have got in these stores, then just keep on watching. I went shopping. <laughs> Most of the items I actually got online, you know that there was the 21 Days of Beauty in, in Ulta stores not too long ago, and I was like all over it. I in fact had a video with my recommendations, and I told you a little bit of like what I was planning maybe to get. So I have some of those stuff right here. I also went shopping at Sephora, my local Sephora. I also grab some stuff online, I don't know. And then I got some stuff at Nordstrom's too. I mean like, it's a little bit all over the place. I was just like, I, I don't know. I just fell in the mood. And then all of a sudden I just find bags everywhere in here. And then, you know, I'm, I want to try them, but then I thought, you know, I better wait and do a haul. And this is the perfect timing. So I'm here to share with you what I got. I don't know how long this video will be, but I will suggest you to, to grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and just make me company. So let me show you what I got first. And this is from Ulta, and again, this was from the um, the sales. It was 50% off. And this is the fall of Tati. <laughs> Tati Westbrook, she convinced me of so many things. And I'm talking about the Nurse Jamie Apple Leaf Massaging Beauty Roller. So this thing right here, this little gadget is really expensive. And in fact, I have seen a lot of like dupes in Amazon. I don't know if they will do the same thing or not. They may be, you know, it, it may be, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, and you see this right here is made in China. So I'm pretty sure maybe the ones that they are in Amazon, they may be the same thing, <laughs> but you're just not paying for, you know, the name of being like Nurse Jamie. So let's see if I can take this thing out. It was really hard to open and I don't wanna, oh Lord, this is just something else right here. How do you take this thing out? Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> this is heavy. Okay, so this is actually really weighty and it feels really cold. So I don't know what type of material this is, but it feels nice and cold. So I think that even if you put it like on your fridge, it will be just so good for the puffing. So it says contains 24 massaging stones. Oh, okay. And it says that um, it's a massager for your face and body that temporarily improves and outlives your skin appearance. So yeah, I have seen Tati, the way that she uses it is usually before makeup, she kind of like rolls up. And I mean, I already have makeup, but oh, oh well. Okay, so it feels cooling and you can feel the little balls going like boom, 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 you know. So I don't know, I will just keep it here while I do my makeup and, you know, do a little bit of like roll up effect type of thing and see if this thing will work or not. So there are two items right here that I actually bought last year, but it was for a present for my mom. And I didn't thought that I wanted it or I needed it, but when I knew that it was coming on sale, I was like, oh yes. So I'm talking about the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. So again, this was from Ulta and I love the packaging. This kind of like lace kind of detail right here. It just looks super, you know, feminine, beautiful in the golden packaging. Hopefully you got one, you know, like if you were, like I said on my video, this is great for like, you know, like gift for, I don't know, a birthday or holidays whatever the case is, but it's just so pretty. The packaging is just beautiful. I love this rose gold. Like, I think it's just a beautiful packaging right here. Even from like a bridal shower, I don't know. I just think it's so romantic and I love the tones. It smells so good. But every time that I go to Ulta, I had to swatch it. So I thought, okay, I, I need to get it. And I also got the Too Faced Natural Eyes. So this is from the same collection, and I think this package is, is 
it's just wonderful. And this is what I was saying. If you have watched my kind of like, I did a little holiday uh, new makeup sets haul, and I hauled some Too Faced items of this year. And this is what I was saying about the packaging of this year. The packaging is cute, you know, like the Snow Girl, um, and then the Gingerbread Man. I mean, it's cute, the packaging, but it is made out of carton but you see like this packaging right here this hard packaging it just makes such a beautiful outstanding gift that's what i was saying and i love this little heart that it comes right here it's just so beautiful so this is the palette that i got and you have a few matte shades right here this is also a matte shade and then you also have all your kind of like foil shades they are not too shimmering they are more foil like but you see, I just think it's so beautiful. So I got this one and I actually got a couple more because I'm going to be um, giving to uh, some of my friends and then family members too. I just don't want to say too much because I don't want people to know what they are having for their presents. But I got a few of these for the holidays. I also decided to grab a few MAC lipsticks actually these are from the new love lipsticks collection so i got four of them so let's just take a peek at them because i haven't like i said i haven't even tried them opened them or anything like that so let me just swatch them for you oh my gosh it's so hot in here look at me i'm with this sweater but believe me all of a sudden it got so hot today so okay so let's have here this is the shade trip triple z or triple was it? That's that one. It's a very pretty pinky nude. I have here the shade As If I Care. Another pink. This is a little bit more deeper in town. Then here is the shade Under the Covers. This looks pretty too. I don't know how you know close they will look like in shade. They are all different. This is even more pinkier. This is more nudish. So, and then the other shade that I got it is Hey Frenchie, and this is kind of like my color, the color that I like. It's kind of like a pink mauvey with a little bit of purpley undertone. That's Hey Frenchie, super pretty, and they smell as all my lipsticks, super good. From Ulta, I also got the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with SPF 50. But most of the YouTubers that I watch, they really rave about this product. And I don't have it, so I decided to give it a go. And this is in the shade Medium. And then another kind of like a CC cream that I got is by Lancome. It is the Skin Feels Good. And this has sunscreen SPF 23. And then it, it is supposed to be glowy and super you know like easy to blend and this is the fault of my friend Terraline here in YouTube she I just love her she's such an amazing youtuber she's actually has been such an inspiration for me to start my YouTube channel and I have been watching her for forever and she's just incredible and she swears by this product so Obviously, I had to get it. It was part of the sale. It was 50% off. So I was like, okay, let, let me just get it. And I got it in the shade Natural Blonde. So I was thinking, you know, like, I, I just need to, I just need to get it. And it comes in a really nice container. I, mean, I don't know if it has a pump or not. Yeah, it does have a pump. So that's good. I, I'm just really excited to try it. Also, I will be traveling out of the country and then the places that I'm going is going to be a little bit more of like the summer type of weather. So I think this product right here will work really great for, you know, like daytime use and kind of like an easy going thing. So I'm just excited to give it a go on that. Okay. So one of the days they had the Kylie lip kits on sale, 50% off too. And I decided to get the shade Bear. And this is in the Velvet Liquid Lipstick Formula, which is completely different than the matte. I mean, it, it just still goes matte, but it's not as drying as the matte formula. The matte formula from Kylie Lipsticks, I don't like it at all. It's just way too drying. And when I went to the store, it was the last one that they had. So I felt a little bit lucky there. And it was interesting because I was there and uh, there was a lady and 
she um, she was looking for a present and she's like, oh, but she was about my age and I told her, you know, don't go for the mask. And she really liked some of the matte uh, shades and I was like, <gasps> you know, like I help her choose some that they look alike. But I'm like, if you're giving it to somebody that, you know, it's already, you know, having a little bit more mature skin that they don't have like a 20 year old lips. <laughs> I use that my one. It's 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 gonna be a bad gift. So this one I think is super pretty. So this is the lip liner, and then here's a liquid lipstick. So I think it's a perfect pairing, and I really like the scent of it. It's this birthday cake kind of scent, and this one is more into kind of like the pinky tone. So I think this will go really well with many different things. So I'm really happy that I was able to get it. That's great. So I decided to get another gadget right here and this is the PMD Personal Microderm. So it's basically kind of like a vacuum kind of exfoliating type of device and this is really expensive but with the sale I got it I think in a good deal and I haven't tried it yet but it seems like it has really good reviews. I also have gone, you know, YouTube and kind of check other people's reviews and feedback and a lot of people have good reviews about it. So I hope that it will help me with my texture and my pores. The niacinamide by Paula's Choice that I have been using has been working wonderful to, you know, like reduce the size of my enlarged pores. But I want to give it a little bit of an extra boost right there. So I think this right here may work. So I'm really hoping and praying this will work. So I also got this Buxom Wonderlust blush right here. I do have one in my collection that is more of like a, I think it's called Mykonos, a little bit more corally tone. Those are the type of blushes that I like, but I got this time around the shade Seychelles, 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 right? And um, I don't know, I just keep hearing Samantha Marge raving about this particular shade right here. And I really like her style, her makeup and all of that. So, I mean, I'm, you know, after so many times that I keep listening to the same thing. And then there's other YouTubers that they also love this shade right here that I say, you know what, this is, this is a good shade. I mean, I don't think it's too much. I don't think it will show a lot of my skin, but it will show, I think, enough to give a little bit of a blush, but it will be more of like a natural kind of blush that I think it will be perfect for fall, winter time. So I decided to get out my collection and this blushes right here they are really long lasting i mean they stay put on so well so i said you know what i'm gonna get it and that's it that's mine totally mine oh my gosh did i just ruin my nail ah okay i got the identity palette number one not the number two to be honest with you the number two doesn't attract me I, I think maybe I have to see it in person and like even this one right here I didn't saw it in person and I just want to try her formula but the number two I don't know why but I don't know I'm not too attracted to to the actual color story so I said you know what I'm just gonna try the number one and then see from there if I really like the formula then I may grab the number two and see but this right here is a very like neutral type of palette which I think that I will get a good use out of it and this is super pretty because it has a lot of like cooler tones too and then it has just very few warmer tones so it, it has a good twist right here so I was very curious to see this shade right here this is cheek and it's more of like um, purple tone which actually suits my skin really well and then I wanted this shade right here audacious because right now for fall time these shades right here they look really pretty and you know what what I'm feeling right now is that they are very creamy it's a creamy formula and this shade right here bombshell oh this is kind of like that taupey shade that's so beautiful oh my goodness let me let me go into gold digger oh and they are so creamy because this little palette right here it is expensive like i said it wasn't part of the sale i think it was 42 dollars and i mean for a brand that i am not familiar with i think it was like ooh, a little bit expensive but i know sonia gasparian and i mean she seems to be an awesome you know youtuber she has a lot of followers 
and I love her style of makeup and I said you know what I think it's about time to actually take the chance and just give it a try give it a go I pick up the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette this right here is the one that I will be giving away um, so if you don't know if you're new here welcome to my channel thank you for being here but I'm doing my 1k giveaway and it is this Metropolis palette so I went ahead and purchased it and I have it here actually in fact I mean I purchased it the day that I was doing the video I was so impressed with this palette that I went ahead and just like while I was filming I just ordered it online and it arrived so it's here it's nice I'm not gonna be opening it for you and you know like put my fingerprints on it it will have fingerprints on the outside but I'll make sure to clean it but it will go to a lucky winner and if you want to enter the giveaway just make sure you go and check the video of my Metropolis palette right there. I have all the details of how to enter the giveaway. Plus, if you want a bonus entry, just go and watch my video of my September favorites and I'm giving a few things right there how to get a third entry or, you know, a bonus entry. So if you want to, you know, take your chances and see if you win this palette, please do go ahead and do so. It's my way to say thank you to all of you. I'm super excited to be giving this away to somebody that, you know, is been very supportive with me and, you know, part of my audience. It's just, it's just going with all my heart. So I'm super excited. I'm happy that I got it right here. Brand new, crispy and beautiful just for you. So moving on with my Sephora haul, I went to my local Sephora and they had this tower right here with the new pharmacy very cherry clean balm and this is a limited edition scent and oh my goodness as soon as i saw it i was like oh, this thing it looks so cute the packaging to begin with with this pinky and the cherry but then when i open it up and i smell it this is a dream oh this smells like cherries it is so good and they only had one so I was like no because I wanted to buy more I'm using the regular one the pharmacy I'm loving it I'm I'm a lover of the Tatcha Camilla cleansing oil but then I went ahead and tried the pharmacy one because I had it like for forever and I fell in love with it I actually in fact I have it on my August favorites and when I saw this one and I smelled it I was like wow this smells so so good so i actually purchased the last one that they had in the store and then rest assured <laughs> that as soon as i was leaving the store i was like tapping in the app of sephora and i ordered a bunch of this because this time right here i hope they i mean it's limited edition right now but i really hope that they decide to just keep it as you know part of their line because this scent right here is just so beautiful i know a lot of people they don't like scented things and i'm one of those persons but i don't know this one right here it just smells delicious amazing like yumminess i got a couple of lip pencils by pat mcgrath too oh lord so i have one in the shade contour and this is one that kathleen lights keep raving about it and let's see right here oh it goes so creamy it's just so beautiful and it comes with a sharpener that is really nice and handy i mean i do have my favorite sharpener but i think the sharpener you know having an extra one is always good and then i also got this um other shade right here called done and done i really love the packaging of this i mean like she keeps Pat McGrath, she just keeps everything so consistent for the most part. Um, it just looks so, so nice. So let's see this shade. And now this shade is all the fall of Mel Thompson. She's the one. She's the one that convinced me for this shade right here. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. Okay, and this is the shade Done and Done. That's a really good shade. That's a really, really good shade. So I will get a good use out of it. And you know what? The formula seems to be very nice and creamy. And then I also got another Pat McGrath item here. And this is actually another lipstick. And this is a matte trans lipstick in the shade Antidote. Antidote. And this is the fault of Michelle Wan. <laughs> she, um, I don't remember what video it was. It was like about maybe two or three weeks ago and she was wearing this shade right here i mean like the packaging is so beautiful right this is kind of like that purpley shade that is kind of like throwing you into your 
you know, out of your comfort zone, basically. But I think this shade right here is just so beautiful for winter time. I don't know, I just love it. It is, it is purple, it is very purple, but I like it. I like it, it's different, you know, it's different, but it's not that purple that lo looks electric. No, it just looks a little bit more elegant. And it looks so good on Michelle. I remember watching her video and her video was about something else. So she was wearing that, so I was looking into the descriptions. And then I saw that she got that shade and I'm like, Beep, put it in my cart. <laughs> I know. So I'm like, oh Michelle, what are you doing to me? And here we go. Another one that I got because of okay, this is the fall of Samantha March. I got this Pat McGrath. Um, I Ecstasy Sublime, so it's this new little packaging. I decided to pass on these friends, okay? So, what happened it is that I went to the store, I think it was last week, when I reviewed the two new quads from uh, Pat McGrath, and I decided to get the one, I mean, the other one of these one that I don't know, it's like buried in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it without making everything fall. I need a bigger space here for my for my craziness. Anyhow, it's somewhere here, I'm sure. I mean, I have the little empty package right here. <laughs> so this over here is the one that has the blue, the purple shades, and I got that one because I wanted to compare with the new quads, and I do not have the the Mothership palette, the, the first one, the Decadence, I think it's called Decadence. I don't have it and that was a limited edition, so it's not anymore, you know, anywhere. Hopefully Mama Path decides to, you know, re-release that. But anyhow, when I went there, I bought that one because it has a few shades from the Decadence palette. So I was able to do my comparisons from there with the new quads, blah, blah, blah. And then in the morning, I think I'll say morning or a couple days before, Samantha March did a video using Pat McGrath goodies and it was basically for foundation and whatnot. And then she used this mini palette right here and I'm like, guess what? I want to get it. And you know what? This is the thing. Samantha March, she has, you know, the most beautiful green eyes. So everything, absolutely everything looks amazing on her. But I just love these shades right here. And they are just so creamy. I mean, these are all pretty much shimmer shades. Where I put it? Like, I have all... There you go. They are just so beautiful. All those shades are just gorgeous. And then you have, like, deeper shades right here. You know, to make kind of like a smoky type of eye, too. So they are just so, so beautiful. So I think this palette is beautiful. It cost $25, it wasn't a lot, but yet I wish, I mean like for this very flimsy plastic, a mirror, please a mirror. I mean, even if it was a cartoon one, a mirror would have been wonderful. I know it's kind of like that to go type of thing, but a mirror will be amazing. So right now I'm using on my hair Kerastase products and one of them is the hair mask. And before that I was using Brio Geo, the mask Dawn Despair Repair. And I really like it, but you know, it's always good to give a change to your hair. Anyhow, I was walking into Sephora the same day that I got, you know, the, the pharmacy um, cherry balm. And I saw this and I died because the packaging is just so cute this little bear and guess what is this little bear this is the Brio Geo Dawn this very bear and this is the honey moisture deep conditioning mask and now this is a limited edition item and it actually smells oh gosh it smells like honey this is so so good so it has all the same ingredients as the regular one but it also have added honey and they just put it in this really cute packaging. I was just, I was like, okay, all over it. I'm like, give me one. I wanted it. And like I said, I have tried it before. If you haven't tried Brio Geo, it's a really nice brand. Um, and then the mask is the thing that I have liked the most out of the line. So now that this one has honey, we know that honey has amazing properties. So I thought, you know what, I want. I want to give it a go. Oh, and look what I found. <laughs> but I was talking to you about this is the Pat McGrath. The, um, this is the Subversive palette. This is the one that I actually bought for the purpose of my quads video. 
and I mean I haven't touched it yet I only swatched this right here today but this shade right here is beautiful this is Lapis Luxury oh my goodness that's a beautiful shade look at that it's gorgeous and this gold right here looks like my sweater actually in person oh gorgeous gorgeous shades so I bought that during that shopping trip and I mean I'm happy that I got it these are perfect for like to you know like travel and they are just like I think they are easy to travel the only thing like I said a mirror will have to do really good and then another thing that I got it is I'm trying to go with a little bit more of neutral type of lashes now that we are um, getting into fall and heading into winter. I also went ahead and um, got the Bare Minerals one in Blur Bath. So it's this beautiful shade right here. It is again a very, oh, I love the bounciness of this. It's just so good. If you haven't tried it yet, you know what? You should give it a go. It's so, so gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just super soft. It applies super easy. Actually, um, I'm using this blush right here today. This is the Coral Cloud. And I'm happy that I'm adding this up on my collection because, like I said, I need a few more neutral tones blushes because I have a lot of, like, corally. I do have some pinks, but I think I need a little bit of more of the neutral side. And then for the first time, I bought an eyeshadow palette from Mel Cosmetics, and this is the Smoke Sessions palette. I don't know, right now we're diving in into fall, so I really want to dive in more into a little bit of like different colors, you know, and be a little bit more adventurous in there. So this palette right here, I, I was able to see it in person. It looks so beautiful. I love the shades of greens that are here. I love this, an icy green shade, which is kind of like that minty shade, and it's beautiful. This shade right here is gorgeous too. And then these two deep, deep shades of mattes, they're just gorgeous. And then this shade right here, this is a different antique kind of gold. I had been meaning to maybe get it, and then I was like, you know, summer is coming, I don't need it. And then they, um, they brought the line into my Sephora, and I was able to see it in person. So there you go. There's some of the shades that I got attracted from. And I said, you know what? Might as well, I'm going to get it. And now, in fact, this coming weekend, Sephora is having um, kind of like a private event type of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and buy, buy maybe some stuff, other palettes from Mel Cosmetics, if they still have them, because they look so beautiful. And by swatching them, they feel like they are nice, creamy. They are not you know, too powdery. And I just heard so many good things about their eyeshadows. I do have a couple of their highlighters, but I was like, you know, let me just get this palette right here. Let me start with that and then take it from there. And I'm thinking maybe later on, I will do maybe a couple of videos doing kind of like fall inspired type of makeup. I don't know, let me know if you will be interested on in something like that and, you know, trying new products that I have hold. Just, just let me know. And then a couple more items right here. I actually got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I got it in the shade 5.5. I really love this foundation. This is such a good foundation right here. So I got another one of those and I know I couldn't have wait for the sale but I couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> and then I have been loving the Tom Ford um, glosses that gloss looks lips. So I got another one and this is in the shade Crystalline. So it's one of kind of like the lighter shades but it's just such a good shade of like peach I mean it has kind of like the whitish tone to it but with peach too you're not gonna be able to see it but these right here these glosses they actually are very very nourishing I'm talking about lip glosses when I was doing my Ipsy unboxing for the month of August and July I did a combined video I actually had some add-ons in there but I was like you know I don't want to get people confused and I don't know it's just I decided to leave them aside also because I was comparing two different boxes. But anyhow, I got the new collection between Ofra and Madison Miller. And this is the lip gloss in the shade, what is this shade here? A smiley for Riley. And Riley is her daughter. And this is such another beautiful gloss. Again, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's kind of the same shade as this Tom Ford one. Kind of like 
this one is more peachy these have more of like coral pink undertone but you know i wanted to support her so i got that one and then through ipsy as well they had the highlighter with Ofra and Madison Miller in the shade Moon Dance. And now this one, the one that they were offering on Ipsy, doesn't have like a special new packaging from Ofra. But I said, you know what? I mean, I'm here. It's a good price. Might as well. So this right here is kind of like an icy kind of shade. So there you go. You see that? It's very nice and icy, but not too, like, not a stark white. So I went ahead and bought this Laura Mercier La Palette Naturale. And this palette right here is available at Nordstrom, like I said, also a Laura Mercier. If you purchase it, 100% of the proceeds goes to the Laura Mercier Ovarium Cancer Foundation. And I think that is amazing. I mean, like, we're talking about 100% of it that is fantastic it is a great way to raise awareness um, to help others to help on the research part of cancer ovarian cancer so i think this is an amazing cause and i'm super happy that i got it and i think this palette right here it is a little bit different from the one that um laura mercier had for the nordstrom anniversary sale this is more of a palette that will complement also for those who have light to medium and medium skin tone i do have light to medium skin tone the other palette the the bronzer it wasn't that dark this one right here is also not that dark. I mean, it will bronze up my face very, very slightly, but enough. And all of them are kind of like this sheen finish, and it has these beautiful blushes right here. I'm so ready for these. I'm just so happy I got it. And I'm even happier because I know I'm supporting a good cause. I think this is so important. If you have a brand that is so successful, you know, helping, I think it's just so so important i mean like i cannot emphasize enough how important these things matter to me and i'm just super happy that i got it i know i'm gonna give a great use out of this palette and then i went ahead and bought a stuff at chop me say i know i was like i see all these videos and i'm like i don't know but i decided to get this z palette because i have a new single eyeshadows and I don't have where to put it, so this is, has the magnet on it. And I really love the outer packaging right here. I really love it. It also comes with a mirror, which is great. I mean, like, come on, people, with, come on, brands. If you do an eyeshadow palette, make sure you put a mirror. I mean, like, if shop me say this cost me, I don't know how much. I mean, a couple dollars, and they are able to put a mirror. Why in the world? It just kills me when I don't see a mirror on certain palettes. So I got this Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. So this is a hair mask right here. And look at this massive packaging. I mean, like this packaging is just like so huge. And I just heard, I mean, I have been watching new, I mean, they are not new YouTubers. They're new YouTubers for me. And they rave about this thing. Look at this size. This size is like humongous it comes with 10 fluid ounces and i have heard that this smells really good and can you believe it that i haven't even opened it and everything is falling okay so let me smell it okay it smells really nice it smells fresh it's a very nice nice fresh kind of like a dull type of scent it smells really good and it has this kind of like thick consistency so again, I'm all into like pampering my hair because like I said, I just, you know, I just treat it so much that I really need that extra nourishment on it. And I think, yeah, this is good for color, it's color safe. So that is important to me too, because my hair tends to kind of go a little bit onto the orangey and brassy type. So for me, it's really important that my color doesn't fade, but also that it doesn't like change into that brassy shade so i think this will be a good one too and last thing that i got is from lisa elridge she actually restocked some of the lipsticks that she launched last year during the holidays and the shade that i got is velvet ribbon and i was actually expecting for lisa to come out with something on september because she was mentioning that in late september she's gonna have a new launch 
she hasn't she hasn't given us anything yet i mean we're already here at the very beginning of october so i'm sure we will hear from her but this one is a beautiful red lipstick the detail on this lipstick it's just like like watching like a velvet coat like a velvet gucci coat i mean i'm i think not even the camera will be able to you know like show you how beautiful this is because you will need to have kind of like a macro type of lens but this is just so beautiful and the shade i mean sorry but i'm not wanting to swatch it until i put it on my lips <laughs> but this is going to be perfect for the holidays i'm happy that i got it and this is the last item for my haul i had so much fun here sharing with you everything that i got like i said i will be getting some more stuff this coming weekend let me know if you want me to do kind of like a blog style type of video like we did on the holiday preview sale i can go and share with you what are the new holiday sets and maybe I can shop some of those and share them here on another video let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do that because I would love to do so okay my friends and I think this is it for this video I hope you really enjoy it if you did so please do not forget to give it a thumbs up that helps me a lot with all my ranking to appear there I'm such a small youtuber so your help is a blessing to me to my channel and all these efforts I really really appreciate it so give it a thumbs up and then share it with somebody else that may like this type of videos if you like hauls you like reviews just you know share it with somebody else also if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel by just tapping on that red button below this screen also do not forget to ring the big post notification bell so you get to know whenever i upload new videos thank you so much for your time thank you so much for being here for all your support i love you so so much until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye, -bye.